everybody, Jason here. I hope you're all doing really good. Today, I'm gonna to be unboxing a box of goodies that was sent here from iPad Rehab. This is a little bit of a complex story as to how this package came to be here, so I'm gonna leave all that out of it, and we're just gonna get right to it. Let's open it up. We're gonna take our handy dandy blade here, which by the way, I drove deep into my finger here about two weeks ago. But luckily, it's now down to just a tiny, tiny little bit of a, a scab, but man, that was ugly. You know, I was in a, I was actually not working under the microscope and um, I was building an amateur radio antenna and wham, man, I sure drove that thing into myself. All right, so here we are opening this thing up here. I've got a little bit of a clue as to what is in this box. Ah, we've got a note here. Woo, we got some iPad Rehab Flair. So you can go to supply.ipadrehab.com for your supply needs, but don't you send them any data recoveries. You send them all to me. Jason, Jessa wants to send you a 6 Plus board along with a supply gift. She is offering a discount code to our supply store for you to offer your customer and followers. For the month of March 2020, any that uses the code STS Loves Rehab. Are you serious? Are you you're trying to get me to say this stuff out loud? Oh, such such fierce competition. Okay. The code STS Loves Rehab will get $5 off any order and will give you $5 for each code that is used with us. Okay, so I'm probably not supposed to be reading this out loud, but uh, you know, I'm gonna say that probably in the wake of the old coronavirus, that this uh, March thing is probably I'm gonna be real honest. This has been here for almost a month. Guys, I have just been, I have just been abso freaking lootly buried. So um, here we've got a logic board. We're gonna set that aside. Let's just move this whole box aside. All right, in our first envelope. You might also notice that I'm kind of doing this in a hurry. There's a reason why it took me a month to get to this. I was, uh, you know, I was having trouble keeping up at first and then now we've got this coronavirus thing going on and uh, boy, oh boy, talk about putting everybody to the test. So here we've got some of these general use tweezers. I will tell you that I have came to really like these tweezers. That is, it's some of my favorite tweezers. You know, it's, it's the greatest tweezers. And then in this little packet here, gosh, I, I, am, I am immensely thankful to be receiving stuff like this from somebody who has such a big name in the micro soldering community. So in this here, we have what appears like it could be some sort of a lens or something. Let's keep digging. The next item of interest here is, uh, oh cool, dude. Heck yeah, I'll get mega use out of these. These are like um, screw trays, right? Isn't that what these are? Yeah, it's like a tray with um, a magnet pad that goes in it. I'll, heck, I'll be using these right away. There's, that is really, really, really helpful. I mean, you all know that watch this channel, you all know that I normally use these things. So, you know, these are available at iPadRehab.com or you, I think you can go straight to supply.iPadRehab.com. Okay, so next we have here, Ah! Ooh, cool, it's almost like a, wait a minute, these are sewing thimbles, right? Aren't these sewing thimbles? Cool, but this is jumper wire, like authentic jumper wire. You all know my jumper wire is harvested from iPhone 6 ear speakers. I love my iPhone 6 ear speakers. Okay, so let's, uh, let's set our spools here, tweezers here, this, which we have yet to completely reveal. And then the uh, last item in this box, and I'm just, I already know what it is because I can see it through the package. And I'm just like absolutely speechless. You know, I, I don't ask for stuff like this to be sent here, but this is an item that, um, that I, I mean, I really, really need. I mean, I, I know a lot of you have seen me doing many, many, many repairs without a thermal camera, but a thermal camera has became a part of my regular everyday life. 
And within the first couple of weeks of having my first thermal camera, I mean, it had paid for itself like over and over and over. So I think Jessa has managed to hoard enough of these to where she is uh, actually selling them at her um, at iPadRehab.com. I have one. I have the FLIR One Pro, but my issue here with the FLIR One Pro lately has been I can't hardly keep it connected. I mean, it just constantly, constantly disconnects with iOS. You'll be almost ready to find the short and then it's like disconnected, plug in your camera, which for the most part seems to be the iOS device causing it. So this is the Seek Compact Pro. This is like the competitor to the FLIR One, FLIR One Pro. And um, I wonder if it puts a big old fat branded image on, on the screen. So the Seek looks like this. Now, Jessa, I gotta confess, whenever you asked me what device I was currently using, I told you Android. Um, I had a little bit of an incident with my Android phone and I'm currently now using an iOS device, but um, I'm gonna wind up using this with a tablet and an extension. See, this has a standard micro USB connector, whereas the one that I've been using, the FLIR one, I bought the iOS version. So um, you can get the FLIR as the iOS version, but um, I mean, as the Android version, but I got the iOS version. So here we have the Seek, and then this little gadget, and this he this compartment here, this is gonna be what everybody has been telling me is the macro lens. I've had lots of people tell me to get the Seek, get the macro lens. Now, I had this Seek once before, and I sent it back. Okay, so it looks like this lens is actually gonna go around the outside of the lens that's already on there. I believe that's how it goes. Uh, this might actually unscrew and then go on there a little bit differently. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put this back in its, just gonna sit it right here and put this on top of it. Gosh, I know that you all would probably like, really like to see me use this right now, um, but I, but to be completely honest, I am like way, way overextended on time and I have to get a device going that I can plug this into. So, you know, regardless of what all is going on with the, um, you, know, you know, with the virus and regardless of what happens here, so long as people continue to send me devices to repair, So long as people continue to send me devices to repair, um, the mail keeps running and people keep paying their invoices, I'm still gonna be sitting here, right here fixing phones. Um, the last few weeks of my life have been really, really, really crazy trying to keep up. As soon as I stop this video, I have to actually finish packing and shipping devices that were supposed to go out yesterday. And then, um, yeah, get right back to the grind. So um, guys, I have a whole lot to say regarding this virus situation, but I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not going to spew that out into this video. So that's it for now. If you are needing some micro soldering supplies, I do urge you to check out iPadRehab.com. And once again, don't send them to your data recovery. Send those to me. And then um, you just go there to get your supplies. So that's it for now, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.